Hey everybody, I am Steve from GamersNexus.net and we're here at Computex 2016. I wanted to do a quick live overclocking demo of some of MSI's new GTX 1080 cards. So we talked about these yesterday in our previous video if you want to learn more about them. What we're working on today are two 1080Zs. This is the top end of MSI's line of Twin Frozer 6 cards, so they are effectively the flagship. We're going to just kind of see very quickly on the show floor how far they can go. Obviously, this isn't as serious an overclocking test as you might get from our labs at home, but let's just go ahead and set something up here. Uh, so I'm going to set up Firestrike to run custom in the background. I only want the graphics test, too, because it's the most intensive on graphics. I'm going to loop it. I'm going to put it in windowed mode, and we're just going to run this, and I'm basically going to keep it in the background uh, while we tune some of the settings. You can see here we've got three monitors set up, so... Uh, the scaling is a little bit ridiculous. But we're going to go ahead and launch that to start, let it, let it load. Once that's loaded in, I'm going to be playing around with the MSI Afterburner, which you can see right here. And we're just going to tune the clock settings and see how stable it is and where, uh, where sort of the thresholds are for performance. So uh, one quick note, this is an SLI setup, which means it behaves a little bit differently for overclocking, but we are going to still go ahead and try this. So uh, 3D Mark's almost done loading now. It looks like our max 107 on these particular cards and I'm not sure if there's any limiting because of SLI but we're just going to go ahead and start with this max. I'm not applying it yet because I want to monitor the clock rate. So you can see the clock rate right now 1987 megahertz and the memory is 5054 megahertz. It's an effective times two rate and then we have our tuning settings here. So let's go ahead and apply the 107 uh, for our power target and then we're going to keep the temp limit at its max of 92. I'm going to start with a pretty conservative 75 megahertz offset and we're just going to apply that and see if it remains stable. Uh, so you can see I've got Fire Strike running in the background. All that's doing is stress testing the overclock as much as we can with a pretty simple setup. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Uh, hopefully it doesn't crash. So we move that over. We've got Afterburner here. We're running stable right now, 2037. I saw it spike to 2050 briefly. I'm not sure where the voltage control is on this version. I think it's up here. It's up here. So we can over we can overvolt in a minute if we need to. Uh, let's go ahead and just push this to a 100 offset. Hit apply, see how that goes. And it's, it's not survived that. So we found the limit already, which is about where the 1080 should be limited because of its voltage concern or voltage limitations uh, by NVIDIA's vBIOS. And the drivers do automatically recover, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is new with the, the new generation, so we don't actually have to restart to just start testing again. I'm going to launch this, let it get started again, and then we're going to just back off that clock rate. I should probably do that before it's uh, loaded in here. Back off that clock rate to the 75 offset, which seemed pretty stable. Uh, one thing, GTX 1080, the Founders Edition, when we tested that, it required 25 megahertz offsets for the clock rate. Uh, so we're just going to stick to that here. I'm not sure if this can accept smaller offsets than 25 megahertz at a time. I'm not going to try and figure that out at a trade show either. Uh, so let's let's do the fan speed first. We've got people playing in the case behind me, so I'm going to try not to hurt their fingers. Do a 72% fan speed just for safety. And got the 75 megahertz offset core. And once this is loaded, we'll go ahead and do the memory overclock and see just how far we can push that. Now, in our review, we were able to push memory to a 900 megahertz offset when using Furmark, but that is not a real-world application, so it's not really a great look at things. And the only way I could do that was by playing away uh, around with the overclock on the core and reducing it to allow the extra voltage to memory. Let's start with, a, a, again, a conservative 300 offset. So there's 300 megahertz. You can see we're still running here. Fire strike in the background. It's not... Oh, well, there's our instability. So we found the limits again. Uh, this instability, by the way, generally you want to burn in for about at least an hour to make sure it's good, and ideally maybe overnight. Uh, but we're we're just doing it all live here, so obviously there's some limitations. Let's uh, let me back off of this a little bit, make it a little less intensive, just to see see if there's any difference here. Some of this may be SLI, uh, and I, I can disable that if that's part of the issue. Now we're back. I was not able to successfully disable SLI just because of the demo rig. A lot of stuff's locked down because we're at a trade show. I've already screwed up a lot of their stuff here, so we're just going to do as much as we can with what we've got uh, because I don't want to have to rebuild the whole system. So just do another custom run, graphics 2, loop, windowed. Uh, let's drop that to 2560 by 1440 run. Then this, I'm going to back down to a zero offset on the memory. 
fan speeds we're going to set to auto just for safety because I'm not sure what was causing the instability. These are unreleased cards after all, so we don't really have uh, the best idea of how they perform in a real environment. But we've reset everything to pretty much stock, 107% power limit. Uh, we've got the core clock offset, 75 megahertz. That's going to put us in uh, a little over 2,000, I think, for the overclock, which is pretty good overclock. Uh, although the Founders Edition could get pretty close to that, and in our case did exceed that. 2088, all right, so there we go. We're at 2088 megahertz right now, uh, and that is exceeding, well, what we had for our Founders Edition, and test was canceled by the user, it says. So something's, uh, something's not working here because of the uh, SLI setup, I think. All right, so we're back again. Here's our Fire Strike window. Gonna look at the overclock one more time, see if we can get something to work here. So we're offsetting this. I'm gonna keep it at 103% on the power limit, just see how that goes. Uh, try not to stress out the card too much. 50 megahertz offset on the core. Let's keep this to 50 and just see if it survives. If not, then we know it's an SLI issue uh, with the afterburner trying to keep them locked or something. So here we've got the 5050. It is applying. We're at 2025 boosted clock rate with a 5103 memory. So it is actually working. If you recall, we have 5050 something before for the memory, and we were below 2000 in the 1900s actually for the the core clock. So this is functional now. I'm going to cautiously extend this to 105 percent. You see, we're still alive back here, and now we're going to go ahead and increase this to 75, which was functional previously. So hopefully, well, functional for the few seconds it was tested, of course, show floor and all. So hopefully that's good. Looks to be surviving. We're at 2037, still 5103, and it's died. So that's that's I think the limit of what we're going to be able to do here at a trade show. Uh, I do, in theory, have one of these cards back at home base already and we will be testing it more exclusively and more extensively in our normal test bench. But it looks like what we're hitting here is about 20, uh, 2018, 2025 for the core memory. I'm not really able to see how far we can push that just yet. So uh, without SLI, it should be a bit easier. I think that's part of the problem. That's our live overclocking experiment. And thank you for watching. Patreon link the post all video if you want to learn more. Links in the description below if you want to read more about this card. Uh, but the takeaway here is that overclocking at a trade show is hard. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.